Hey everyone, it's been a while since I done, you know, Transformer or any kind of a toy review. So, but um, this review is going to be about Overload slash Mixmaster slash Scavenger slash Rampage slash pretty much every other Constructicon uh, on for, you know, Devastator, except for Scrap Metal and you know, Hightower. We already, I already did those. Uh, but, uh, enough talk, let's get it right. I uh, on the on to unboxing this guy. And yes, I just got out this guy. I so yeah. Yes, I got the Devastator's Kiwis, okay? Chill. What are you Oh, come on, on Overload. You know your De Devastator's Kiwi is slash legs. Tell me I'm not wrong. Not wrong. Yeah, that's what I thought. So... Now I'm just gonna, gonna cut you open. Well, not really cut you open, but cut your box open. But before I do, here's Overload. He is a 66 of the Studio Series figures. He's a leader class, and here's an image of him right here, including him on his display stand. So there's that. Now let's cut this open, and he's also from Transformers: Red of the Fallen. Uh, then get right on, right down to it. Uh, 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 oh, this is gonna be awesome. Okay. There you go. And hey, careful, careful, careful. And there you go, gone. There you go. Pretty sure we know what this is for Devastator. Now let's cut this thing off. Uh, Oh, he's a big boy. Ugh. Okay. Now, this guy looks pretty good. Yeah. Some good details on him. And I think he's, okay, they're on a ratchet joint, so you can basically go this far up. Uh, this has the longest length. You can do things that's called the full 360. And. He has some. I think this is a double elbow joint on a little swivel here. Same thing here. Or minus the swivel. Oh, I think that means that it's. Yep. Same thing. Same thing here and swivel. Oh yeah, and move these hands up and down. Can you do this? Oh nope, you can't do the same. Anything. Same thing here. Yeah. And uh, oh yeah, he has a knee joint, so I think he go under ninety degrees. Uh, he could do, I think it's this far up, and he can do about this far, there. and uh, I think that is out uh, of the details of overload. Now, 
Oh yeah, forgot. So let's at least get his display stand out. Out to end. These are over over instructions. And this is his display stand. Let me just put that up. You can just put them on. Oh, wait. If you want me to. You want me Yeah, you can. And just put a him, him on air. Any way you want it to. Yeah. Okay, to, but to prevent and the, your display stand from going up, I suggest you use the box and have it hold up like this. And there you go. There. So if you get to display them, so that's about it of overload. Now let's get on to transforming overload and three, two, whoa, whoa, whoa. I give it a good stance. Three, two, wait, why am I counting? <laughs> Anyways, let's just get start our transformation overload. You know what to do. Okay now, so transformation's done, and it looks really cool. I like this. A lot of details on this guy. There's some storage for this thing. It's pretty cool. Now we can do this. Get it roll. Has that little sound, but yeah, it's pretty cool. And, this is the this is where the robot pieces are kept. Uh, so, Overload's vehicle mode looks really cool. Now, time to get this guy into combine mode. And, uh, well, at least his combined piece. But so, like I said before, Overload, you know what to do. There we go, and that is Overload's Combine Mode. Here we go, and just bring that up. This is very good Combine Mode. mode. Look at this. Uh, wait, let me just, yeah. That's a very good Combine Mode. Let's see how this works. Okay, and uh, I think these are one of these, yep, it's like this, yep, Wait, is this the right one? Let's see, is this, oh yeah, it's on a, oh, yeah, it's on a very strong on ratchet joint. Yeah, same thing, hang on this side. Uh, oh. These got undone. Uh, uh, so yeah. Pretty detailed, good detailed on it. Pretty good. Yeah. Okay. Now, uh, now that he is done for, 
time to move on to the construction cons, the other ones that I haven't made a video about, you know, separately yet. Uh, so, well, let's, go, let's start off this. Let's start off with the head, which is Mixmaster. Here is Mixmaster. Here, and they grab his box, Mixmaster, or his box. There's his display stand. Ah, there you go. Yeah. You can display him on there, and in order for him to not knock anything down, you just need to put that up and like that. Arms can move about this far, and then move all the way around. Okay, it's on the elbow joint, and it's, can move around 90 degrees on the knees, and the and the ankles are articulated, and the head can move move around, around it, and it just. Very good detailed. Hope so. Let's get it started on a Devastator. Well, not Devastator. We still gotta do the rest of the Constructor Cons. I, I meant to say Mix Master. But you guys get the idea. So. Okay, so, yeah. Well, let's, uh. Gotta move this out of the way. Let's move on to the transformation and, and Mixmaster, you know what to do. Okay now, he's done transforming and let's pull up closer. Looks really good, has a lot, a lot of good details on him. Some robot pieces right here. And there's a, a, a antique truck. Looks really good. And then some silver it has some like some blue silver paint right here on the window, so that looks kind of very good. The paint looks nice. Can roll and yeah, <laughs> that's a how it with it's his vehicle form now. You know, and now, time to get into his combined one. Mixmaster, you know what to do. There you go. His transformation is now into combined one, and it looks really good. Like the details, the paint work on it. You can open its jaw. And these are the connector. First, uh, uh, where you link on, and you have scavenger. Which we'll get to that at the end a little bit. Here's the hood. Here's the front end section of the car. You just popped off and you know, pop. And then on. Come on. Come on. Man, it's in there tight. Ah, oh, there you go. There you go. So, oh yeah. And here. A little smokestacks. Yeah, it looks pretty good. The head look, looks pretty good. And the uh, feet just lock in, in between these tires. There's a. Anything new? Still, still looks pretty good. And, and now, and now we're gonna move on. To scavenger. If I can actually get him to stand in. Oh, it. Yeah. Okay, got him to stand. Okay, now. And uh, here's scavenger's box. And he is. Oh. 
scavengers level 55 in studio series and he is a leader class there's a and with his little display stand here is him with his vehicle and robot mode there's that and you grab his display a stand got a lot of boxes here and here is his display stand and you could just you know, do the same thing put a ozim on the display stand and so yeah you could do, do that he put some Pin we're on, here's his face. Molding looks nice. You can still roll, well, you know. This guy can still roll, and his arms, you can do that. I think that counts. Okay, and rotate his arms all the way through. His arms can do about this far up. And elbows can go over 90 degrees. And there's a double joints on the arms. So, yeah. That is Scavenger. Put him back right here. And there you go. So, time to have Scavenger transformed into his vehicle. You know what to do, scavenger. Okay now, so uh, he's now in his vehicle mode and the rear cluster looks really nice. There's his treads. Yeah, so there's that. And they're, and they're all wheels right here. So he can roll. Move this around. Move it up. You can move it down. You even have, it's still things. Same thing. We're on the bubble joint. And there's some great details. And here's this part of his head. <laughs> that's just sticking out, but you know, that's okay. Here's the wheel just right here. But you no, know, doesn't bother me. Great detailing, moldy, and paint work on this part. Same thing on this side. Looks pretty good. And, oh, and this thing is also moving up and down as well. It's on a little ratchet joint. It's a little bit stiff. But, other than that, it's pretty good. It's pretty good. Now, time to get him into his combined mode. So, Scavenger, you know what to do. There we go, so he's on his combined mode. And there he is. And there's his head just right here. And there's the latches, which are for when you, which are for to uh, cover our Mixmaster's hands when we. Combine them all together into Devastator, which we'll do in a little bit. Hmm. These are our Devastator's arm sections. This is where you plug them in. And right here. And I think that that's about it. And yep, there's a lot of good details. And the combination looks pretty good. So, and that is it for Scavenger. Now, next one that we're going to cover is Scrapper. Here's a Scrapper right here. You go at his box. And here's Scrapper. And with his box and his display stand same thing you can just put him up here and scrapper 
Voyager. He is a 60 in the studio series. He is a Voyager class. There's a picture of him. Him is displacing. And him in vehicle and robot mode. And at this figure. Oh, here's a scrapper. He looks really nice. The head, the detail on the lane looks clear. Yeah, the sculpting. And his, arm, his legs can and move up this far. And can move back this far. His arms have a, have a, a double joint so they, they can go this far. Alright, up. Same thing on the other side. And the head is can still move around, but can't look up, but it can do this. And his arms can extend about this wide. Can up, sort of go this far. And the legs, they can, but they are on a swivel, so they, they can go about this. Or you can twist it all around. And also, of uh, uh, the other uh, one has a little mo removable claws from the next claws, so you can just move it around. And, and the detailing on it looks pretty good. Good, good paint. Well, probably not a lot. Well, it doesn't look like it has a lot of good paint, but pretty good details on it. I like it. Now, let's go on. To its uh, transformation now. Scrapper, you know what to do. Okay, now, throwing it out. See his vehicle mode and looks really good. Like I said, not a lot of paint, but it's really good. You can move, move this all the way up like that far. Okay, um, it's able to roll very nicely. Yeah. Yeah, and the combined pack for it is right here. It's a lot of robot uh, parts right here. This is arms basically right here, but that doesn't bother me. Yeah, the detailing on the transformation looks pretty good. I like it. I like it. Now, the, I think that's all there is too about the Navy vehicle. Now, let's move on. Now we're on his combined mode. Mode? Scrap metal? I almost called it scrap metal. <laughs> Scrapper, you know what to do. Okay, now. So now he's done with his combined mode. Yeah. Actually, the arm looks really nice. I like it. You can move his fingers right here. This must be his thumb. Here's his his joint where it just sticks out right here. And there's barely any transformation on it. But still, it just looks really nice. I like it. So, and silver paint right here. Nothing really new on the dis uh, on the you know paintwork, <laughs> but it still looks pretty nice. I like the combined mode. Good. Okay, yeah, so I think that is all the on for your scrap apper. Now let's move on to rampage. Here's rampage. Let me grab uh, have his, uh, his box. Uh, oh, and his display stand as well. <laughs> and here's his display stand and his box. He is a level 37 in the Studio Series. He's, uh, he uh, is a Voyager class. Uh, image of his display stand. And him in robot and vehicle mode, you know, vehicle and robot mode, <laughs> and yeah, it's done with packaging, and you can and display him, him, 
And we'll on to the display stand. And uh, you have to depose him. And uh, that's it. And now let's go to the figure. Yeah, like this. <laughs> that's cool. Looks pretty nice. I guess you can move this way, that way. Basically, all these little, little ball joint. I should go this far. I should could go this far. Move all the way around. And it has no elbow joints. And the and his, his fingers are articulated. That you, that you can move them around it if you want. And oh, and also, um, there's no legs. So, which is pretty obvious. And also, uh, oh, let me put this back in here so I can show you guys a bit better. Now, these parts right here, they're removable. And you can place them on his thumb with a little. Egg right here, and he has his little weapons. I think, <laughs> yeah. So, so you can uh, fire on Autobots. For me, I kind of I, I like to uh, do it, it, it's just to make his arm fully transform into a gun. I used to do it like it is. Uh, put that up, and looks like it's an actual uh, look and just. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So, uh, you could do that uh, on b uh, both sides. Ends of the arm. And you could just plug that back in. There you go. Uh, and get back onto the. It has good details on. I do not know what this is. There's a little bit of some car parts. The robot looks pretty good. Now, time to move on to its transformation into vehicle mode. So, Rampage, you know what to do. There we go. So now he's done with transformation and looks really nice. Uh, these things are a bit exposed, but that doesn't bother me. Yeah. yeah you can't really do anything with this. Uh, this, but these things are a little on little rollers. Those right here. Those. And oh, oh, uh, I did make a mistake. Uh, me made a mistake in the transformation. Oh, and also, ah, there we go. It's also a little roller right here, so you can then have him drive around. Oh, and also, has a little peg right here. There's a little stand. You can just fold this in, and you have to open. These treads right here, and these little knobs and little, little, little pegs right here. There, that's where there you're gonna want to put it, it in here. Let's see. That's done. You have a little place to store it. Really good storage on it. It and uh, oh yeah. and so yeah, that some good transformation, good quality on it. This paintwork, uh, yeah, I'm buying it. Looks pretty good. Yeah. Now time to get it and into his combined mode. Up to uh, when you uh, transform him. You're gonna want to remove this thing out. Remove the is out uh, out uh, when you transform them both to vehicle uh, and to combine mode. Just a little note. Okay, now 
You know what to do, Rampage. And now he's in his combine mode. And the foot actually looks good. You can move the foot about this wide. Or this way it's on ratchet joint, so make it like this. Oh, or make him. And one of these things just popped off. I grab it. And I lost it. Oh, there it is. Found it. Gotta be careful with these things. Pop off uh, really easy. And you can move them like that. Like that. Yep. Yeah. So you could come back. I'm really good. The foot is a big foot. Uh, it, uh, and uh, it's really big foot. Like, <laughs> no pun intended. No pun intended. You know, big foot is just <laughs> no pun intended. Yeah. That looks really nice. The foot looks actually really nice. I like it. Uh, I think the details right here. Like goes right here. Looks pretty cool. And I like it. Uh, and uh, that's all. All with the uh, rampage. Now the last constructor con, and the reason why I say last constructor con. Is because of you know, no no need for high tower or near scrap metal because we already did a video about that. That's the other last one and is long haul. Uh, yeah, and now uh, we, now let me just grab long haul's box and uh, his display stand. Okay, you know, and here is long haul's box and. The display stand, you can see, Long Haul is a level 42 Studio Series, it's a Constructicon, and he is a Voyager class, and here's him with his display stand, and him in vehicle and robot mode, and like all the, the others, you can put uh, item up with. Here, you could just pose them on your shelves if you guys like. Okay, oh, I almost put them out of the camera. But that's enough of with this blue stand and his box. Let's get it on to the transformer himself. And he looks really nice. And he's all green, so, but still, there's not a lot of paint to, on him. Um, but, you know, it doesn't bother me. Some good molding on him. His face looks nice, yeah. Uh, you can't make him go up or go down. Oh, wait, you can. And you can still turn him. And his arms, not that much as of these things. Uh, but his arms can't go oh, this far. He can't go this far as well. Same thing with the other side. Uh, can only go oh, this far up. If you move this, uh, you can go 90 degrees. Same thing on the other leg. And he has little ankle movements uh, right here. Same thing. And he does, and he can't move his toes. But that's because, you know, they're part of his transformation. And uh, he has some, you know, a lot of car, car parts on him. But still, it looks really cool. But, and, oh, and there's his missiles right here. Looks really nice. Uh, there you go. Now, the, uh, now that's all. And, the, you know, uh, that's it. But it's a uh, blow. Hold on. Uh, well, I was trying to get him into his transformation. So, long haul. You know what to do. There we go. So now he's in his vehicle and 
it looks really nice. It has a lot of his robot stuff right here, but doesn't bother. Transformation looks really nice. Uh, his arms are exposed, so that's kind of a bit weird. I wish there was a way to cover that up a bit, but it doesn't bother me. So it still would be nice to have these things just covered up. But other than that, looks really nice. I like it. There's good details on the vehicle mode. I don't want to paint, but it looks really nice. Can roll really good. Good. Has some good little little shiny blue paint. Same nice silver right here. Ooh, I like it on the little gears, simply right there. Still looks pretty nice. Now, time to, uh, not time for him to be in his combined mode. So long haul, you know what to do, uh, you know what to do. There we go. He is uh, now in his uh, combined mode. And leg it looks pretty nice uh, i like it put these things down and oh, there you go <laughs> looks pretty nice uh, i like the details as well as that it is in the leg form looks really nice i like it you can make them go this far this far you can get them to an ankle turn right here sitting so right here Looks nice. And as well as it's, you know, little robot pieces showing right here. And I just wish there was a way to actually add in more transformation on it. But besides that, looks really nice. I, I like it. I like it. looks really cool. Now that the, now, now that all of the, the uh, combiners are done. Let's put uh, them all together. Here's Scavenger. Here's Scrapper. Scavenger and Scrapper. <laughs> that rhymes. Here's Mixmaster. Here's, uh, yeah, here's Rampage. And here's, yeah, there's a, there's scrap metal, there's high tower, and here is overload right here. Yeah, here's overload. Yeah. Yeah, and here are some of the pieces, lots of pieces that there was. Uh, there's, these are the lots of pieces. Is this uh, back? Okay, so that's all of them, and now time to get them to combine. Let's start off with the mixmaster. The head go over the head. Here's scavenger. Let's move these guys aside. A little note, this can be, uh, um, com putting the head on can be a serious pain. Like, no joke here, let me zoom in right here so that you guys can see who they're looking at. Now, yeah, you guys can see how uh, this, this little connectors will go on the, these little knobs, but this thing makes it hard to do so, so you just have to give it some force. Uh, it really can be pain. Come on. Come on. Man, this can be pain. Give me one, one second. Here we go. Ah, uh, here we go. Here is the bed. Oh, let me zoom all the way back. 
Yeah. Yeah. And the little notes there, guys. The only thing is I can't and really get they make this hard is those little uh, little pegs that are right here. The little uh, that I'm pointing out right here, the little little red uh, circles right here. Let's just move these out of the way. Yeah, that. I where my fingers on. That can be a uh, uh, hard. Did the red spot that can be hard to get it on because it makes it hard, but it is doable. But it can be serious pain. So now that's done with. Let's move on to uh, the arms. Let's put the arms on. Oh, this is very exciting. Let's. Here we go. I got the arms clipped in, which is the same thing. Uh, the little tabs uh, right there. Let me just undo it to show you guys. See that? These things will slide into them and pretty easily, no struggles. For these, oh, yeah, just gotta put them, plug them in fairly easy, which can be pretty much a pain. Come on. And I ah, there you go, got him. Oh, little piece fell. Give me one and second to pick that up. There we go. Here's his arm. Same thing on the other side. This little peg. This thing right there, the little square area right here, that can plug in there. Ah, simple. And, whoa. Uh, up. Okay, now. Okay, got uh, uh, the, uh, the, the main body done. Yeah. Let's move on with the legs, uh, legs section. Legs, uh, okay. Uh, so time to put, like I said, time to put the legs on. Okay, yeah, let's uh, put them on. That's really simple. Okay, you see these? These will slide into them pretty Simple, we just come on. Okay, give me one second. Okay, mm -hmm. got in there, yeah. Same thing, they're just, like I said, they're on little sliders where you can just push them in there. There, there which should be pretty simple. Uh, it says so in the instructions, let me just show you guys. So yeah, you see this? They're on little slides, you just slide them in like that. And yep, if you do uh, uh, the same thing on the other one, you just Slide them in. Oh, Devastator. He is going to be a ginormous. And also, we'll take a look at the instructions. When you put Ace and Mana, you're going to want to put the, uh, to plug the tab on the back into the, this part of the wheel, okay? They should do that. And also, speaking of which, uh, kind of, which is back, back word, so I just got rotated. So remember, this little gap always has to go in front, okay? Always has to go in front. Now, you just got to. Uh, 
And also, oh, he will okay. I don't think we're done, guys. Are we? Give me one second. Apparently, not. You guys gotta push these things back here. And I think that all you have to do it, it, it doesn't say, I can't find anything that says that you have to tap them on the instructions. It just doesn't say that anywhere on them. Also, this, 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 you just uh, plug that in, which pretty sure you just let me raise this thing up. Okay. Yeah, I think you just. Uh, actually. Give me about one second. Made a mistake. You really need to have the, uh, the, the, these parts in this position right here. You move these smokestacks out of the way. And then you take this, slide it, you just press it like this, and then apply the smokestacks on it. And it's not going to go anywhere. Ah, there you go. You just gotta snap it into place. It's a good snap in place. Plug the smoke stack in, and it won't go anywhere. Oh, and also, one more thing the extra pieces, the extra uh, pieces, like this, and this. this will work. You just plug this piece into. This port right here, so there's a, a so you can add some parts onto it, and the oh, the back section. If you go oh, oh down, look, you see this little port right here. So you just. Plug it in through the back, as store orange, and uh, that. Uh, oh, this came undone. Ah, there we go. You know, and that is Devastator, and he looks awesome. I've been waiting for this. Oh, and also a little no guys. And if you guys remember from a few videos back, and I had this guy called Bob, he's hiding right now. He didn't pay any of the constructor cons enough. Good news for or Bob, he's hiding. Bad news is, Devastator's looking for him, and I don't think I'm going to hold him back. Because Bob didn't pay me back for mowing in the lawn. So, Devastator, sick him. Um, okay, do that for me. And that's about it. <laughs> and we're gonna just call it in. Oh, you know, so I'm gonna have lots of fun play with this thing. <laughs> oh, bye! Wait, before I go, there's something else that I want you guys to know. In the future, I'm gonna make a new series of videos, which I'm going to make after I complete my gameplay videos of Spider Man, Spider Man Miles Morales, and Avengers PS4. Okay, that hey, that's uh, that's what's gonna uh, 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 happen, and okay, it's a little, little bit of a secret I'm gonna surprise you guys, and, uh, but I will give you guys a hint on what it is. I'm gonna say it to you in sign language. Okay, good. Now that is what I, that I said. Now, if you guys know what I is to those of you who know what I said, then. Uh, then you know, put down in the comments on your opinions on what it's going to be. And to those of you who don't know what uh, I just said, and um, just.
put a little guess on what you guys guys think. And I'm not gonna reply to the comments because I don't want to, uh, you know, oh narrow down on what the uh, new videos are. So I'm not gonna re reply to those. Uh, this is this so. Uh, Knows, and to those of you who are new to this channel, if you guys want to know what it is, please uh, subscribe, click the bell, else for notifications, so or you can be immediately notified for when a video goes public. Uh, so, yeah, that, that is it. Uh, so, I think this time I'm going to go. <laughs> Bye!